welcome to my channel today I'm bringing you another recipe swap video and this video is part of a collaboration that is hosted by Sarah from Sarah's Realm where she matches us, matches us with other creators and we swap recipes. This time I was swapping recipe with uh, Vesna TV cooking and I thought for sure I was going to end up with the most difficult recipe out there because if you guys didn't know, Vesna is my sister. But putting sister shenanigans aside, she did end up giving me two very delicious recipes. Uh, the first one is jalapeno chicken casserole and the second one was air fryer zucchini. So make sure you check out the playlist which will be linked down below as well as Vesna's channel, Sarah's channel and link to the recipes. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm making the casserole and you will need, I well, I am using four jalapeno peppers, some chicken breast, I am using four, sour cream, um, cream cheese, some Mexican shredded cheese and bacon. And the sour cream was not on the recipe, I added it. And then you will also need some salt, pepper and garlic powder. So before you get started, I turned on my oven to bake at 375. And then I took my brand new Pampered Chef casserole dish. This is cast iron and I absolutely love the outside of it, the nice color and the fact that it is coated on the inside which makes cleanup a breeze. So I added some olive oil to it. You could ask, uh, add a non-cooking spray and I just greased it up so it's ready to go. mixed my sour cream and cream cheese together. I just used my ground beef um, tool to mix it up. You could also use a handheld mixer if you'd like uh, or a fork, whatever works. Uh, if you're going to be using anything but the hand mixer, you just want to make sure that your cream cheese is at room temperature. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. My name is Sonia and you're watching my cooking channel. I like to share tons of different recipes as well as what's for dinners here. Um, I have a whole grilling um, outdoor cooking uh, section uh, that I started for the season. So make sure you check those out if you like cooking and grilling videos. And don't forget to press the subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out when my new recipes come out. Now it's time to assemble the casserole. First thing I do is add my seasoning, which is salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And I season both sides of the chicken breast. Once the seasoning is on, I am adding my cream cheese and sour cream mixture and you just want to make sure that it's uh, evenly spread out all over the chicken. So first I just put blobs of it and then I spread it around with a spatula. Now it's time to get my jalapeno peppers ready and I cut them in half and then I take a spoon and remove all the insides out. You can leave some seeds in that will make it a little spicier but if uh, you remove all the seeds out then your casserole is not spicy. I kind of left a little bit on there because we don't mind a little bit of spiciness. And once the seeds were all removed to the point where you wanted them, um, I sliced my peppers into little matchsticks. Thank you. 
Now I take all the peppers and put them over top of the chicken covering the whole casserole with them and then I follow with the shredded cheese. And now it's going to go in the oven at 375 for about 40 minutes or you want to make sure that when you insert the thermometer your chicken is cooked and I am not covering it I do put it in uncovered because this was cast iron it did take a little bit longer for my uh, zucchini while my casserole is cooking you will need four zucchinis some parmesan pepper salt pepper as well as um, garlic powder and then I am mixing my seasonings with the parmesan and adding a little bit of olive oil just to make almost like a um, paste and then I'm going to slice all of my zucchini into about one inch pieces I add all the zucchini into the air fryer and then I toss it with the little um, paste. Make sure all of the zucchinis are covered with it. Bake it for about 20 uh, or so minutes and just like with any air fryer you have to toss it every so often so, so it cooks evenly. also making pasta now the recipe calls for a pasta to be added to a casserole but because I was making a casserole a little bit keto friendly I did not add the pasta in it I served it on a side and b about five minutes before you finish off your uh, casserole you want to add your cooked bacon and here it is all done and my pasta is done as well as my zucchini. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend if you think your friend would like it. And uh, don't forget to check out my description box for all the links. And I'll see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.